Strongy and Packagist. Can they work together? Yes, they can. So this is an online shop that I'm working on for Speed Coding Academy, teaching folks how to build this type of thing. And I thought to myself it would be nice if we could generate some PDF invoices. And I had a look, there was one that I liked called uh, DOM PDF, and it's really good, but it's on Packagist. And how does all of that stuff fit in with the Trongate framework? Well, I'm going to show you right now. Uh, if we go find the thing, you can see it's saying Composer Require. I've navigated to where the site is, Oop, and I'm now uh, requiring this thing right here in the terminal. So it's now downloading Composer and all of that stuff, and there we go. So if you look at the directory, what just happened there is it's added in a folder called Vendor down here. Uh, look on the left and and that's uh, what you get, you know. You've also got a thing here called composer.json, composer.lock. Now, um, what we're looking at here is an index. I should show you where this is. It's in the public folder. So in the public folder of the Trongate framework, there's a file called index.php. I'm going to require once, and I'm just going to do that, and I'm going to say vendor forward slash autoload.php vendor autoload. So now I have made a very simple module up here called invoices. If I go to uh, forward slash invoices forward slash test you'll see that it says hello right it's an incredibly simple thing this. Now I'm going to go back to packagist and as I look at the instructions here I can see that it's saying that we need to add a use statement. So I'll copy this use statement. I'm going to just chuck it at the top of the file like that. Now I'm going to get some code and I'm ready to go. In fact, let me cheat. Here's a little bit of code that I prepared myself earlier. It's just some DOM PDF stuff. And I'm going to whack this inside my module like that. And I'm going to save and I'm going to refresh. And as you can see, Trongate is now loading up everything and generating glorious PDF invoices. Pretty easy, right? But that's not all, folks. Let's continue and take this further. Let's imagine we're going to have a form. So I'm just going to say this view form. And I'm inside my invoices folder here. Made up a little file called form.php. As you can see, it's not doing too much just now. So I'm going to go to indexes form. And I would like a nice form here, you know. Now, let's imagine that you fancy having one of those um, what you see is what you get editors. All right, so I'll go to packages. I'm going to say what you see is what you get. And there's a whole bunch of these. Now, I'm going to pick the tiny one just because it caught my eye. And let's see if we can use this. So again, I'm copying the part at the top here, going into the terminal, and I'm going to say Composer Require. So now it's downloading this tiny MCE thing. Now, that's nice, but there's a problem. If I take you over to the tiny MCE Quick Start, it gives you an example that looks something like this. I'm just going to copy it and put it into the form. So this is straight from the tiny MCE e website. I'm going to save it and I'm going to refresh here. Okay, so we've got a text editor of sorts here. If we look at what we got from this vendor autoload though, there is a problem because tiny MCE is hidden deep within this vendor folder here and it's not inside the public folder and in fact this tiny MCE thing does not even contain PHP files. There are plenty of PHP developers who see things like that and they think that doesn't even belong in Packagist. I mean, what are you meant to do? Copy it and put it into a JavaScript folder and all of that? It's, a, it's an include nightmare. I spent some time late last night trying to figure out, well, how do you include this stuff? You know, these JavaScript heavy packages. I mean, the one I've got has got CSS and themes and everything in it. How does that all work, you know? And I looked on Google, I couldn't find anything. 
I noticed that the major PHP frameworks have got libraries and stuff for integrating it. I found a tutorial here, for example, and something about Laravel, and I, I found a library here for the Laravel one, or one of them, and it said uh, discontinued. And so it's a big wall of silence, you know? It's like, go figure it out. And I'm not seeing much at all. Now, if I take you back to the file here, the example I'm giving you is referencing a content network. And I'm just going to show you the page again. You'll notice that we've got this alert saying it's not registered and it's something about an API key. So wouldn't it be nice if we could somehow reference the vendor folder without having to go through a half hour tutorial or download some third party library? Well, let's have a closer look at the vendor folder together, right? The file that we are looking for uh, is inside the vendor folder. I'm just going to write vendor here, right? Now, if I go inside vendor, you can see that we've got tiny MCE, right? Okay, so we've got that. Then inside tiny MCE, we've got another tiny MCE. It's just a nightmare path. And then finally, we've got tinymce.min.js. And I know that that's the start point, at least this file, because that's where the other file went, the one that was on the content network. So that's the path. Now we are, by the way, if you look at our URL, and even if I show you the source code, you'll see that we've got three segments on the URL here. And if we look at the source code here, all I've done is I've just said vendors. So the, the chances of that thing working, of course, are ridiculous. So anyway, I was up till about 4 a.m. last night with my friend Derek. The two of us were looking at this and we were just getting depressed, saying this is a downer. And he was saying this stuff shouldn't even be in packages. There's nothing to do with it. And, uh, you know, how do you include the files? And it's a drag, you know. And uh, like I say, every major framework has got libraries, third-party libraries that you download and set up. And it's complicated. And so I had this crazy idea. Why don't we just make it a part of the framework. <laughs> I mean, it's just a crazy thing, right? And so, um, you know, we got a laugh and we're like, this is ridiculous and we can't do this, you know. But we stayed up, like I say, till 4 a.m. and we were on Skype and we thought, nah, man, let's just do it, you know. So you can see now that I've gone from this path here, of course, which is the CDN, uh, to just saying vendor and chucking in the, the path to the file. It's kind of crazy. But now if I just refresh, you'll see that it works perfectly. And by the way, what's happening there? Our path is exactly the same. And we are several layers deep in the URL. This should never work. This is insane. This, this, sh this should be having you laughing and saying, that's ridiculous. But it works. In under one thousandth of a second, ladies and gentlemen, just by saying vendor forward slash, the Trongate framework figures out that you must be referring to the vendor folder and it digs it out and it serves out the files and it serves out all of the include files. If it's JavaScript, it serves it as JavaScript. If it's CSS, it serves it as CSS. The themes, the skins, the plugins, it all just works. I'd like to thank my friend Derek for staying up late with me last night and uh, helping me with this. We certainly had some fun. And to anyone in Speed Coding Academy, this is going out today. It's going to give us access to, I don't know, is it 500 million libraries or something? But basically, this throws open the doors to tons and tons of files that you can now enjoy, libraries and everything. I hope you do enjoy it. If you're not a member of Speed Coding Academy, why not? Um, if you cannot afford to join Speed Coding Academy or anything like that, I hope you'll just smile because I'm confident that I can get Trongate out before the end of the year. And when it comes out, I think it's safe to say that this is going to be different from any framework that you've seen before. There's a whole bunch of stuff coming that I haven't even spoken about. And when you get to the stage where you're just laughing at the features because it's ridiculous, you know that you're doing something good. So change is coming to PHP. We are having a PHP revolution. 
Congratulations to the members of Speed Coding Academy. You get it before the rest of the world. And uh, yeah, enjoy. I'll talk to you soon.